Excuse me, mate. I've got a truck with a bit of that skip up, and I don't think he's going to fit through. I think you might be on something there. I suppose there's no chance of you moving it then, eh? I suppose right. Look, I know you and my boss don't see eye to eye, but I just want to do my job. All right, twinkle toes. Keep your knickers on. Aaron, can you uh, move these vehicles here so our friend can get on? Yeah, where's the keys? The keys? Keys? What do I do with them keys? Just let me think. Oh, I'm like. Got memory like a goldfish, Anna. Ooh, oh, just give me a minute, mate. Let me think. Oh dear. Oh dear. Is that all you've got to say? Are you sure you didn't? No. Because it does look pretty. Yeah, I know perfectly well what it looks like. She set me up. Well, I know she's no angel, but I can't understand why she'd want to do this. It may, may not be as bad as it seems. How bad can it get? Layla's going to feed me to the sharks and then step on my head while I'm drowning. Uh, well, technically, you wouldn't drown her. Oh, whatever! Whichever way you look at it, I'm dead in the water. But you don't know what she wants yet. Uh, do you want my advice? No! To be totally honest with you, I do not want your advice, because it's you who's got me into this mess in the first place! From the voice of bitter experience, don't do anything. There's no note, no demand for money or anything. Sit tight, let her make the next move. I've got a bone to pick with you. You can't possibly get through three teas, four coffees and two hot chocolates every day. They come with the room, don't they? They're for display purposes only. You're going to have to limit yourself to two, or I'm going to have to charge. <clears throat> Still sticking out at the B&B, then? Hopefully not for much longer. I'm flat hunting as we speak. Ah. Oh, what? Well. Round here, I hope. So if you hear of anything. What do you reckon? If you're thinking of moving a girl in, you better get a lock on your bedroom door. <laughs> well, it has its upside. What's that, then? Well, you know. Cooking, cleaning, washing, ironing, and your pails to live there. Oh, you see? What's not to like? Yeah, all right. I, well, I did have a meeting, but I'll cancel it. OK, I'll come straight over. See ya, bye. Bye, darling. So, phone does work. Yeah, sorry about rushing off last night, so I came up. What, like, match of the day? <laughs> no, work-related. Oh, look here, we can make it up to me now. You what? Get me a sandwich before me interview. Uh, I can't, I can't. We've got a rush meeting. Again? Yeah, sorry. What's more important, eh? Me or Hot and Council? Yeah. Finish that off. I'll ring you. I presume you'll be paying then? 200 quid, that's cheap. That's not cheap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Look who she'd be living with. I'm kind of used to my own space. It's OK. We're, we're low maintenance, aren't we, pal? Yeah. And we're tidy. Mm. And they're both really good at lying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, we won't. You won't even know that we're there. <laughs> right, two steak and kidney, one Caesar salad. What? Uh, have you got a chance? Oh, when Rona's gone... I don't know what you mean. Listen, mate, just give it up, will you? I mean, even with your good looks and sparkling personality, you can't compete with the likes of him. Oh, well, that's my break time, then. So, what do you recommend, Chef? Well, um, the goat's cheese lasagna has a certain je ne sais quoi. Go on, then. I'm celebrating. You got the practice? No. I'm moving in over the road. That was quick. What? You and Ryan. Me and Ryan... Uh, no, what was it you were saying earlier about last night? Just drink and debauchery and whispering sweet nothings into the early hours. Sorry, what are you on about? Paddy said you've seen somebody. It's... No, I'm not. I think he heard you on the phone. To the bank? I can hardly talk in front of him, can I? Oh! Oh! So you, you're not... No! Brilliant! Andy and Ryan, to have an extra person in the house is brilliant. <laughs> so, this goat's cheese lasagna. Mm. I just get the pad. Yeah. What is this about? 
David, so you had a chance to watch my little home movie then? You haven't answered my question. Well, I'd have thought that was obvious. Corrupt counsellors, dodgy cleaning contracts, seething passion. Oh. Tanya, if it's money you want, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I haven't got any. And if you're after sex or... Sex? Mm. <laughs> David, I'd love to sleep with you if you're offering, but actually, no, that wasn't the plan. What plan? What do you want from me? Hello, David. I'm so glad you could make it. <sighs> How could I be so stupid? Well, to be honest, I think you do that rather well. I should have realised when I saw that film. It's just the kind of sleazy thing that you would come up with. Thanks. That wasn't a compliment. Do you realise what you're dealing with here? What do you mean? Nathan's a respected local businessman. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, why don't I just tell you what this is all about? Yeah, why don't you? And then I'll tell you what you can do. We need a favour. We're expanding the estate, but we need planning permission for the barn conversions. Barn conversions? Ah, oh, right, I get it. Declan's had the knockback, so he sent you here to do his dirty work, yeah? Declan? No, Declan doesn't even know about this. Do you really think I'm that gullible? Now I'm going to take orders from a scumbag like you. Huh? Dream on that. Yeah, well, I wouldn't leave if I was you. I am not going to put my job on the line to increase your profits. <sighs> What's the alternative? Public humiliation? Prison? <sighs> David, we have you on video admitting that you accepted a contract that should have gone out to tender. Never mind cavorting with one of your rather attractive colleagues. I mean, as I see it, it's pretty much a done deal. This is stupid. Even if I wanted to push something through planning, I couldn't. It's all done by committee. Yeah, well, four out of the nine are on our side, so yours is the casting vote. I don't care who you show that video to, I'm not doing it. It's career suicide. Yes, it is. For both of us. Oh, don't worry about me. Nathan's made it very worth my while. Look, David, I know this isn't your strong point, but think a little bit about it, please. It's not going to happen. Well, you know me. I wouldn't want to go round upsetting Layla again, would I? I swear. If you've got anywhere near that... Are this, Tanya? You what? Nathan, stop it. I don't care what you tell Layla, because I'll just tell her the truth. Really? Yeah. Oh, what, about the fact that you've been lying about your lucrative new contract? Well, you've been pretending to go to council meetings when actually you've been here having sex with her. I went nowhere near her! Yeah, well, just in case there's any grey area, we've got it captured for posterity on film. <laughs> She'd never believe you. No? No, you're probably right, but a chief exec might. And then that's your career over. Possibly even your business, too. And I'm sure the lovely Layla wouldn't find you half as attractive then. Because, I mean, you know what she's like over money. Well, do you know what I'm thinking? You can't handle people saying no to you. Well, you're probably right. Come on, David. It's just a few little barn conversions. What's the big deal? Me being able to live with myself? At the end of the day, this whole thing comes down to whether or not I want to stay on the council, doesn't it? And if it means compromising myself, I don't know whether I do. Where are you going? Home. No, David, I haven't finished. David, look at you. You think you're so morally superior, don't you? Yep. Well, it's not difficult when dealing with a lot of life like you. So that's it, is it? You're just going to turn your back on your job? Yeah. Because that's all it is. It's just a job. And it's me and Layla that matter. And if I walk away, she'll stand by me. I've got nothing to lose. It's not all about Layla, though, is it? What? Your old man. Now, I didn't want to drag him into this, but you kind of backed me into a corner. What are you talking about? He's not even on the council anymore. Yeah, I know, but he does want to buy the B&B, doesn't he? <laughs> now, it would be awful if someone got in there first. You know, I don't think I have a clue of how to run a business like that. I could, I could definitely run that into the ground. You would. What about if I put an offer in on Farrah's? I mean, that's Layla's dream house. Her dream job. I mean, that, that would break her heart. I, I'm sure that that shop is everything that she's ever wanted. If you look at me, 
I'm not being cruel. I'm just telling you everything that could go wrong. Whereas if you help me, it's win-win. And how do you work that one out? Well, if you approve the planning permission, then all of the evidence we've got, we burn. We get our barns, and you get the deposit on your house. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I completely forgot to say, yeah, I'm going to pay the deposit on your house so that you and Layla can live happily ever after. Now think about that. But not for too long, because it's a strictly limited offer. <laughs> <laughs>